Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I was doing some research on open source intelligence tool and I came across one really small and cool command line tool that is called the sublist 3R and look pretty promising. So I just wanted to share if you have not used it, uh, how to use it. So if you go to this link, really, you will find a lot of information about this particular tool. And uh, this is really part of the open source intelligence type of tool that you have. So if you go, you really need this particular package, the sublist 3R. And what it is, it's a Python tool. And it is designed to enumerate subdomains of website using open source intelligence, as I said. Say you're, you're looking for like Microsoft.com, you you want to enumerate that website. And it is just going to use various different search engines. Okay. And in particular, it's going to use the Google, Yahoo, Bing, Baidu, and Ask. And it can, if you want, you can also specify, okay, go ahead and use the Netcraft or Virus Total. Thread crowd, DNS dumpster, and reverse DNS. Okay, so really simple to use. So all you need to do is you need to run the sudo apt install sublist 3r, and if you run the h command, that's going to give you the help. And here are a whole bunch of the help that you need to do. So the easiest way to run this command is just take uh, run once you install, you run this tool, and then specify the domain by dash d or dash dash domain and that will be the domain name that you're you, you're gonna enumerate right there are a bunch of other little bit advanced things in here like you can actually brute force enable the sub brute brute force module you can even scan the found subdomain again specified tcp port okay when you are starting and doing your work i would not recommend to do any of this especially if you do not have any permission to do so on any of these domains okay so be careful when you're running this to stick to maybe the most basic one which is just focuses on your enumeration and instead of going after the after the domain and actually do some active scanning just uses uh, your open source intelligence meaning just go to the different uh, search engine and to gather your information okay so one thing that I also noticed, uh, if you run this tool, okay, what might happen, uh, you may see uh, an error, like the virus tool probably uh, now is blocking our request. So if you run uh, this command, uh, once it's calling a whole bunch of APIs, okay, so if you look at it, I didn't specify any search engine in this command, it's just by default it's going going through every single different search engine that in support right Baidu, Yahoo, Google, Bing, Ask, Netcraft, DNS, Dumpster, Virus Total, all of that and Virus Total sometimes based on the number of calls you're making it can block some of the requests so all you need to do is go to the virus.com create your own account and update the API uh, by running one command and that would be this so you go to the virus to get your API and then run VT API key equals whatever API key you're gonna get. Alright, so let's do something real quick. So this is the Kali. Uh, it's a new version of the Kali. Let's see that I have already installed this tool or not. So let me just copy this one real quick. Uh, just paste. Hit enter. I don't have it installed. So as I said, this tool can be installed by running the sudo apt install sublist 3r. So let's just do that. Type y, hit enter. I need to provide the sudo password. Now the tool is getting installed and my Kali is connected to the internet. So as soon as it gets 80%, oh, that's almost done. There we go. So now I have the tool available to me. So I can uh, hit the up arrow, hit enter. You probably need a sudo password probably so what it's telling me if I just run this command is telling me hey you know this needs you know some argument and at least you need one argument for the domain otherwise the tool doesn't know what to do so before we run anything let's just uh, clear the screen and uh, let's just do test test help 
and again as I said all these help that we have already gone through uh, that's right here so you can uh, look at the different help from here and as I said the most common one very easily that you can like over here they are doing enumeration of the Kali Linux so let's run something like that so over here with let's, let's try this command okay so over here if I paste this command so I'm you know doing a pen testing and I want to know all the information about Kali.org using the open source intelligence okay that's I'm in a very very early phase of my pen test activity I'm just I just want to learn about my my target so this is what something that we can do so here domain is the Kali.org T is the number of threads over here okay and then uh, dash E is Bing okay that's the Bing is the search engine that we're gonna use for this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, command that we're gonna run so if I hit enter okay so if you see that searching now in Bing and that's all you get okay so what you can do uh, you can go ahead you can easily save any of this right so I'm um, expecting that you know a little bit of Linux and how to do that so if you change that to Google okay let's see if Google gives me anything more than what I got from the Bing uh, search engine okay Google at least didn't give me anything what I did provide this Google properly uh, let me just look at over here let me make sure Google maybe I have to capitalize that I don't know if that's case sensitive or not. I wouldn't think so. At least Google didn't find anything. Let's try Yahoo. One more. And let's see what I get. Okay, searching Yahoo. Yahoo didn't find anything for the Kali either. That's very, very interesting. Anyway, so yeah, and if I move this, okay, if I just do okay, just go after everything that you have, okay. Now what's doing it's actually going through all of the search engines that uh, it can query and again as I said the virus total if, if there are too many API uh, calls it's going to give you this error and if you get this error don't don't feel too bad just give it a little bit of time because the virus total is not working but the others are so you're still going to get a good amount of results so over here you are getting actually a, a bunch of other other results for whole bunch of uh, domains and subdomains that we have not seen previously so there we go so that's your sub list uh, 3r to sub list 3r that's uh, again open source intelligence tool uh, that is uh, nice to have in your pocket if you are interested in learning uh, Kali Linux pen testing things like that okay have fun with this too if you have any questions please leave it as a comment thank you very much